Welcome to Smoke Meat with Jeff. Today we're going to take ourselves back to uh, the county fair, uh, medieval reenactment, or one of my favorites, the Scottish Games, and we are going to make smoked uh, turkey uh, drumsticks. Especially a favorite for the kids. They get to uh, look ginormous while they're gnawing on one of these things. Uh, this is a, a fairly easy um, recipe to make. It takes a little longer than chicken, roughly four hours on the smoker. Uh, but it's very early in the morning and I haven't even started the smoker yet. I'm not even sure what type of wood I'm going to use today because I'm actually running low on my wood supply and uh, I'm going to get this stuff brining uh, for about four hours while I run out and get another supply of wood. Uh, so some of the basic supplies you're going to need for your brining is of course uh, a Ziploc bag or a non-reactive uh, metal dish and your brine. I've got my brine ready to go right here. And once we're done with that and we're ready to get this thing on the smoker, uh, just a other, uh, couple of other basic supplies. You're going to need some butter for getting the spices to stick to the outside. Of course, we got some, uh, some spices to put onto it. And then uh, towards the end of the cooking process, I'm going to glaze this in some homemade barbecue sauce. Uh, if you want to know how to make this, check out my uh, uh, Guinness barbecue sauce recipe. And of course, uh, a little silicone brush for applying that. So. Uh, I'm just going to get this stuff brining, throw it into the refrigerator, and uh, head off to get my new supply of wood. And then we will be back to uh, get this thing onto the, onto the smoker. Okay, we are back. Um, I picked up the, uh, the wood to resupply and we're going to be smoking these uh, uh, turkey legs today with mesquite and almond wood. And this has been brining for about four hours now in a brine of uh, uh, salt, brown sugar, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to really drive the moisture into the, uh, the turkey leg. And we are going to get this thing prepped for putting it on the grill. As you can see, I got my Bradley rack. I'm going to do it straight on there. And this is going to get real messy. We're going to use um, just some salted butter to really slather this thing down to help uh, get some of our spices to stick, which will be my uh, salty and smoky uh, spice mix right here. And what's going to be interesting about this is we want to get this salt and spices up under the skin as much as possible because uh, this will be on the grill. So you want to just get your fingers underneath the skin as best you can. Just kind of push it away from the meat on both sides. Little pocket in there. And then we're going to take some butter pull some off and I am just going to shove it down underneath the skin. Like so. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to get our spices. I'm going to throw some spices under the skin and cram it underneath there. Same thing with this side. Really lock in that flavor. Then we're going to slather some butter on the outside. And this makes a big old mess, so make sure you have a towel handy for cleaning your hands when you're done. And sprinkle on some, some flavor. Now you don't have to overdo it on the spices because we are going to, at about the uh, three hour mark, these are going to cook for four hours, uh, at the three hour mark we are going to start glazing this with a barbecue sauce. So I'm going to work on the second one here, and then we will uh, get these out on the smoker. Okay, we got the turkey legs on the uh, on the smoker. Let's take a look. Here we go. We got the uh, turkey legs. I just put them on, so they are beginning their journey. And over here, I've got a, a rack of uh, pork spare ribs. If you want to see how to make that, check out one of my other YouTube videos. So we'll come back in uh, probably about uh, two hours or so to kind of check on these, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I just got word from my eye grill that the uh, turkey legs are at about 145 degrees right now. So let's take, take a look at this. Oh, that's coming along nicely. So now that we're at 145 degrees with a finished cooking temperature of 165, 
Um, we are going to start brushing on the barbecue sauce, and we're going to start doing this about every 10-15 um, minutes to really get a good encrusting of uh, my homemade barbecue sauce. We're just going to brush this on, and we'll flip it over and do the other side as well. So I will continue this process until the meat, or my eye grill, reports back that the meat is at its finished temperature of 165 degrees. And then it'll be time to uh, try these bad boys out. And as you can see over here, I've got the, uh, the pork ribs that I'm outlining in one of my other um, uh, videos wrapped up in foil. That's the second part of cooking that uh, to really lock in those juices. So let's check back in in a little bit. All right, we're going to throw on a little more uh, barbecue sauce now. And while we're at it, um, oh man, look at that, it's coming along nicely. While we're at it, we're coming down to the finish line here on this. We're at about 150 degrees right now, so uh, finish temperature, internal temperature is 165 for these things. So I'm going to up the temperature of the smoker, get it up to around 275. So we're going from 250 to around 275 um, and keep it under 300 degrees for the last little bit of this to really um, caramelize the uh, the outer skin here with the barbecue sauce and crisp it up. So we're getting real close to pulling this off the, off the barbecue and having dinner. Alright, I just got notification from my eye grill that the internal temperature of our turkey legs has reached 165 degrees. And I can't even pick those up to show them to you, they're still so hot, but uh, they are looking amazing. See if we can get a shot here. Look at that. And I'm going to go grab a knife and cut these up and see where we're at. And here we have it, the, uh, the finished turkey legs. Look at those with all the barbecue sauce on there. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of juices we're going to get out of this. Of course, normally you wouldn't cut this. You would just pick it up and eat it like a barbarian. But, oh my God, look at that. Absolutely amazing, super juicy. All right, we're gonna have to uh, give this a taste test here real quick. Oh man. Tender, moist, that is just perfect. All right, so this is uh, Jeff with Smoked Meat with Jeff and there's your smoked turkey glazed with my homemade barbecue sauce. Until next time, uh, have fun on your smoker. We'll see what I do next time.